Book's routine, which David described. It's basically a biographical epic uh, poem written in Terza Rima about Kain Soutine. Um, Kain Soutine is an oddly obscure, truly great artist. He's in almost every major museum. Um, I can go on for hours about why I think he's obscure. <clears throat> His life is fascinating. It makes Van Gogh's seem rather dull. But as I wrote this book, uh, my regard for him, I'm a painter as well. Um, I discovered painting in my 30s, and I discovered him at about the same time. I, I began writing these uh, memoir stretches, which hadn't been my intent to start with. And they're always the best ones to read at the reading, because I have to you know, get even more to start reading about Constantine. Um, look him up. This is all about me. Uh, this is one of the memoir stretches. The, the only background you need to know for this is that I lost a job. I got a new job. This is all described in earlier books in, in, in the poem. And in, in between, I was teaching myself how to paint. Number one, I ran into my first routine at the MoMA Museum of Modern Art in New York. And number two, weeks into teaching myself to paint, I went to the Metropolitan Museum of Art, set up an easel in front of a Pizarro, and copied it on a drop cloth. Um, and I should be still doing time for that because I had no idea how to hold the brushes at that point. <laughs> this is uh, Book 3, Chapter 4, Part 1. La Cité Philgare. 888 7th Avenue, New York. The famous opera man, a semi-homeless fixture, lifts his can and sets to work another day delivering his hopeless arias. Removed across the avenue by uniforms at Carnegie Hall, the heartless monsters, he resumes his ballyhoo and de profundis on a sidewalk square on 57th, just below the studio of Ernest Krishlow on the second floor of the Art Students League of New York. Krishlow taught an open session there on Thursday nights in 93. By luck, I landed at an office right across the street above the Brooklyn Diner. What the fuck, I thought, the lead. What better place to meet the likes of Krishlow, Romary Bearden's partner at the Cinque Gallery, and what could be three-hour sessions with the new Nirvana every Thursday night? I cut across the traffic, snarled on 57th on a blood quest with a bag of oil tubes tossed and jostling on my back. It was a chance to fail on par with painting in that most auspicious gallery of town. My pants were caked with color on the night I met a realist from the Harlem Renaissance. Another wild man, Krishlow laughed. He vet my canvas, shake his head, and say, all right, keep moving with the figure while it's wet. When he retired, I switched to Wednesday night, Harari's class upstairs, Hananiah. He was full of love. In Europe, at the height of things, at home, a socialist pariah, the blacklist, and the whole shebang, this gentleman was in his 80s an American who figured in the school of Paris. Judgmental? He was not, but all encouraging. I love this color, he would say, and then to see it closer in the battlement of oil across my slab. Spare no expense. Your métier is impasto. There I spent my Wednesday nights, an intense experience. The weary model having posed all day conveyed a softness. I would often sense her weight and form through color in the way that greens and violets would develop in the pasty flesh tone I naively splay across my gesso canvas. I begin to understand what Krishlo told me. Work it wet and keep up with the drama and the pose. Harari smiled. I see a Turk, an odalisk. Matisse would see the same. The man was going blind. <laughs> Sometimes he lurked behind a student quietly, then, what's your name? You're Sally, right? Um, Robert? <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> but he could see the paintings. When he came to mine, I'd watch his eyes. There is a source of clarity in art and in the process of creating. And Harari had a vast resource of images within. He could 
could assess a canvas with an acumen and skill that cut through cataracts. I'll tell you this, you're learning how to work with white. It's still the toughest color on my palette. Oh, that's right, it's not a color. <laughs> he would kill with his derisive jabs of dilettante opinions. I looked through catalogs and found examples of his early work. His avant-garde Parisian pictures brought to mind Georges Braque. I came across a painting titled Soutine Studio. Soutine. Remind me where I heard that name before. In fact, the wild landscape that unsettled me at MoMA was the start of something huge. The guy I studied Soutine on the train at home at work bordered on obsession. So I asked about it. That, my oh my, it brings back memories. Did you not know I took his studio in Kanye's? He left before I got there. We never met. I have to say, I loved Harari all the more for this. Where's yours? He'd lean into my painting. It's improved. Come back next week and give it three more hours. And in the morning, there'd be Opera Man. And I'd think, 